Hey everyone, got a quick update for you. This just came out today and I th I'm a sucker for these 3D models, so I wanted to share it right away. Quick shout out to the Photogrammy Department of the Icelandic Institute of Natural History as they are the ones putting this together and it is from April 18th. Data acquired by Bigir Oskusson and model generated by, I hope this says his name correctly, Nils Guys, and I hope I say that correctly. If I had not, I apologize, but thank you so much to them for putting this all together because this is fantastic. And if we take a look, let me just go full screen so we can jump into it. This is newly released data and 3D model that we can navigate and take a look at the entire eruption area. So just to quickly go through where we are situated, the original entrance was this way here and so you would walk up and then around the side to take a look at the eruptions and they're saying that the path is closed you can see very clearly this lava here has now blocked the ability for people to travel across this mountain to the other side that's what they mean by the lava has blocked the path because this is where everyone's coming up. Last time I went, a huge number of people, and you can see it on the live streams too, a huge number of people are going across this path. You can see, funny enough, the trail here that has been caused by the amount of people that are going through. But you can also see that it is now cut off. So if we zoom out again, we take a look at how much has actually happened and how much lava has actually come out of this eruption since, uh, I mean, it's, it has only been a couple of weeks that this thing's been erupting. Not even that long, and it's this huge amount of volume already. Very nice that we can zoom in and we can see the actual cones and the different openings based off of these aerial photos. You can see all of the different ones. Again, this was created and posted today, April 18th. We can see some more activity over here some cone activity and you can navigate around. Very, very cool stuff. You can also, I know this is one of the camera locations, you can take a look here. The webcams, you only get so much information from them, right? It's just kind of where it's pointed. Having this 3D model allows you to actually navigate around and see what's going on. Whoops, and we can see here, there's a car. And we can see the path that the vehicles have been using to travel around. So very, very cool stuff. One quick thing I wanted to show you is we have this brand new one and we can rewind and go back to the old one. This one, same same guys are putting this together, I believe. And just, uh, yep, the exact same one, same data acquired by, same model generated. And again, from the Icelandic Institute of Natural History. This one is from March 31st. So. 18 days ago and you can see the drastic difference in the amount of lava that has actually come out of the volcano you can see very clearly that the path totally unobstructed this is where we would come in down here from the lower part of the screen walk up and you can see people were crossing along the path here freely we can go to the left which is what i would typically do and take a look at the volcano from this angle here. And uh, yeah, so I thought uh, this would be a good update. Take a look at these two models of what's been going on. And I'm gonna put the links in the description. As always, check them out. I'll put both of them just so you can compare the two, but you can see on the right-hand side of the screen over here, if we just sort of pull that over, you can see over here on the right hand side of the screen these suggested 3d models all of this you can see is the different dates that they have posted things so take a look at those if you like it you can also download these i believe if you scroll down if you're into that you can go and download the 3d models so yeah here it is download 3d model very very cool I thought it was worth checking out, and I hope you all enjoyed it too. So again, check out the link in the comments, and check out the live stream if you want to see how it's looking right now. Thanks so much for watching.